You know when you come across a group so powerful, so dominant, where you on your own get to a certain point where you have that decision to make to either surrender yourselves or you retaliate, fight for your group and potentially start a war. Well, recently I encountered exactly this, an overwhelmingly powerful group which I had conflict with and also found out that they were very strong allies with some old enemies of mine. Ah, uh, mate, we got raided the other day by, by uh, Justice League, so we've got nothing really now. Really? I also heard that a group was attempting to raid my base. What's up, bro? So, we're getting raided, basically. I think so, yeah. And of course, it was then. Then a few hours later, they opened fire as we were trying to be friendly. Okay, they're shooting us. we got to run, 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 run. Keep running. Oh, I got shot. Are you dead? Yeah, I'm dead. The decision I had to make right here, this very moment, would consequently start a huge war with this clan. Not only involving their group, but all of their allies too. This was a fight I couldn't back out of. I think they're shooting at me now. My blood's fine. I think they're in a gunfight. Well, where are you heading off to? I'm to heading back the... towards Glaniska. They're still shooting, dude. I'm curious like, as to why they're shooting. Maybe, yeah. Uh... There's a guy on me, shit. Dude, do you have any drinks, man? Do you have any drinks, bro? Oh, wait, let me deal with this zombie. Hold on, let's go over here. Who is this? What's your name? My name is James. James, thank you for being friendly, mate. What group are you part of, dude? Are you are you the base in, uh, in, what is it called? Um, I think I saw you guys before. Around here. Uh, Luke out. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the guy that met you in the car. <laughs> hey guys. What's up, man? Uh, Luke has our base. We're friendly, guys. So. If you need anything, just hop by. Yeah, we are the safe haven faction. Oh, you are. Okay. Yeah. Um, I just came to the shops. I just came. Okay, to the okay. Shops. I'll explain in a second, mate. Yeah, I'm dying at the moment of drinks. If you've got any, that'd be amazing. Hello. Oh, hello. Hello. Who's that? Do you have drinks out there, man? I just need drinks. Okay. If you've got drinks, mate, because I'm going to die any, like, pretty quick. Shit, thank you, dude. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, mate. I only have a bit. Just give me going. My friend was just killed by the guys that shot. Uh, and the guys that shot my friend are in a group called... Uh, yeah. Timberwolves, you know them, the green arm bands? Oh, Timberwolves. I yeah. I was cool with Timberwolves. And we yeah, just, just we, killed one of my guys actually. We were just in a field back there. We put our hand up to be friendly. I put my hand up to be friendly and they just started shooting at us. I didn't have a gun out, neither did my friend. I killed one of them and ran off. They're gonna kill one of my guys, I'm just gonna kill one of that theirs, so Is it the mountain men or something? Is that your group, right? Oh, Men of the Woods. Men of the Woods, that's it, okay. Yeah, I'm just curious, like, what is your stance on them? Are you guys allies, or are you just kind of cool, or enemies, or what? With Timberwolves. Uh, not allies, but not friendly. They'd say neutral. But neutral. Now they just killed one of my guys, so yeah. James, we have to get out. I'll let you go, I'll let you go, mate, if you got, if you got to go. Yeah, but. my friends need help. Are you just going there to shoot back, yeah? Um, yeah, they just killed three of our guys, so we have 
Okay, I can help. Okay, I'm gonna help him. Um, this is kind of the point in time where we've got to make a decision, like, who we're being friends with and who we're not, you know? These guys, we, we haven't had a single problem with. The Timberwolves, on the other hand, like, I don't know, man. I'm gonna scope out down there. They may have moved to Brenner. I'm getting in until they may have moved to Brenner. Okay. See, I don't have as much to lose as you do because I'm just a solo player. As I said, there's no way of them identifying me. I can get away with a bit more unless they kill me. You know? But you've got the armband, so... Okay. As I said, it's a love-hate relationship between us and them. Mm. Me and James stuck together but couldn't find the Timberwolves faction we were fighting. We went to meet up with his friends instead. Are you friends with any of the factions on here? No. I'm not, I'm not like a direct ally with anyone, man. I was kind of, I was meant to be cool with the green armbands, but I don't know. Do you have any enemies? Uh, yes. Who's Prob that? Probably Maybe Justice League. Aha, uh -huh. common enemies, I see. Nice. Yeah, well, the Timberwolves are, are friends with the Justice League, so. as far as I remember. Okay. Um, uh, I, you're in the middle of the woods. I see you guys. I'm to your left. Don't shoot oh, me. Oh, my friend's off to our left. Field. Yeah, yeah, we won't shoot, we won't shoot. Yeah, yeah, that's him, that's him, that's him. Okay. We all began to regroup and headed towards Glaniska Pump for drinks. Is that yeah. you jogging down the road with a big yeah, ass bag? Okay. Uh, yeah. Who's this guy up front? That's Bye. a friend, teammate, teammate. Guys to the right, 2-1. Two, two, that's two, me, guys. Yeah, friendly, 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 friendly. Once we'd all regrouped, we noticed an extra member hanging in the back. We need this guy to go, why is he even with us? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's not for me. Oh, this is something wrong. Okay, dude, listen, uh, you, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to break off from us, man, because we're in the middle of something, but But good luck, dude. You just you better off not following us, because you're gonna die. By someone else. You're not one of me, definitely. You're definitely one of us. None of us, no. None of us either, so. Hey, take off the helmet. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. What do you mean you're with us? Are you part of a group, dude? With the hammer? Yes, I'm part of our group. How, how long are you Friday on the server event. for? For like five minutes. I, I hear your friends. Here, I hear your friends, dude. I hear your friends on Discord or TeamSpeak, man. Come on. What? They're not even in this game, bro. I just locked. I can hear them. Man, you're gonna have to speak. He's part of their group. He's part of their group for sure. He's part of one of. He's the, he's one of the green armband guys, I bet. Probably. <laughs> what? Green armbands? I don't know what, what you mean. So, um. Can I take this bottle? Is it okay? You can what you you can take this bottle then you, and you go you can go back to the direction where you came from. Guys, find some racks for the armband. Can I can you drop it, dude? I wanna <coughs> go, go, leave, get out of here. Just give go. me the hammer at least. No reason to be a fucking douche about it. What do you mean? <coughs> Just go, man. We're gonna kill Give ourselves. me the hammer, come on. Come on. Come on, dude. Oh my god. Pick up the yes. hammer, you can do no, this. Karma. Karma is getting you guys, you know? Karma will get you. Karma is coming for you. Karma is coming for you. Yeah, now you're gonna die. Yep, all die. Yes, shut up. Okay, okay. He's, uh, he's part of their group, 100%. Oh, he said Hannibal. Yeah, he said his name is Hannibal, it's hurting. Let's see, what's his name? Hartig. Oh, so, what group is he part of? I don't know. Okay. You want to keep going? I'm good on drinks now. So what do you want to do here, James? It's your cool. Do you need any bullets and stuff? My base is not far from me and I can give you some ammo for that. We're, we're, we're okay. I tell you what we... 
What we're really looking for, which I know, I'm not, I'm not even going to ask. Well, it, it's his nails, and I'm not even going to ask for nails. Colock in it, Colock as well, but... You need nails? I mean... Yeah, I but... But I don't know what we could oh. offer you, dude. That's the thing. We've got a lot of guns. I'd take a Tundra for a box of nails. What do you prefer? Winchester or Blaze? Blaze? Or... I mean, I've been looking for a Blaze for a while. I mean, we could go get the nails and then go and get the Blaze. Okay. I've got the scope for it. I don't mind about the scope. Okay, so the Blaze, I can, we can give you a Blaze for sure. Yeah. Um, if you want, we could just meet you back here. In like... 10 minutes uh, or 15 minutes, unless... Or we could escort one and escort the other one. How okay, we we'll go it? to you first, because I want to see your base anyway. I want to see... Okay, well, we'll go back to their base, just so we know where it is, and then it'll be good if they know where our base is, so they know not to... Mm -hmm. Not to raid us. Yeah. We went to the Men of the Woods base in Lukau to make this nail trade for a blaze and hopefully solidify our small alliance with them. Cozy. And the Holy Grail. Oh my god, it's, it's beautiful. Oh. oh. It's beautiful. Look at it. Just look at it. Oh, mate, stop it. Okay, cool. So if you want to head back to our base, mate. Yeah, yeah. The nails are on the table for trade. We just had to go back to our base for the blaze to trade back. But there was trouble up ahead. Whoa, ho, ho. Is that us? It's not us. It's not us. No, it's not. It's not us. They're fighting down there, dude. There was some sort of battle going on across the bridge. We realized it wasn't worth the risk of losing our nails, and we decided to continue to our base. But yet again, we noticed another member following us. And as you might have guessed, it was the same guy earlier trying to follow us back to our base. We returned to base, grabbed the blaze for trade, and made the exchange. Okay, as a blaze. The trade was complete, and we locked up. And that is how day four came to an end. Our primary objective for the day was to look for supplies to upgrade our base and make it a bit more defendable and harder to raid. But for now, I was solo. Oh, Jesus. Oh, he's got a gun. Okay. I took the valuable loot from all bodies and transported it back to base. But I remembered a base I'd found in Graben a few days ago with two code locks. If we use axes to break it down with, we could steal those locks. So I headed over to the town of Graben and found some freshborns on the way. I offered them gear to assist me, they agreed, and we moved to get those code locks together. But one disappeared on the way, and once we arrived, the second guy went AFK for good. Our plan to get those code locks with freshborns failed. I just couldn't do it alone. I've been gone so long, someone else has come along. He, he just attracts more zombies. He should just punish them. He's just attracting more zombies and, waste, and wasting ammo. Oh my god. Hello? Uh, hello? I can't draw him towards our friend. Hello? Hello. I will say you something. What's that? I'm kill the F your noob. What's that? Really? Are you being serious? Come on man, I reckon you can do it. If you take another shot, you'll do it. Oh 
I still don't know what he said to me right there, but those shots led to something else. Hello, 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 friendly, friendly, friendly. King? King, is that you? It was King, the guy we'd met and befriended a few days ago. But he was a member of the Green Armband faction, Timberwolves, who we'd started a war with. Oh my god, dude. Are you shooting? Yes, I'm shooting. There's a little bloody but kid. Also. No, no, that was that was a guy shooting at me. I killed him. I just recognized the bear yes. thing. How are you doing? Yo. What are you doing here? I was looking for code locks and new press boards who maybe had nails. Really? Last nice. Last yeah. Time. Um. <laughs> Have you maybe some nails? Have you found? I don't. I, I haven't found any, mate. I've literally got none on me. So I can trade with something. No, I've, dude, I'm looking for nails myself, bro. I've got none. I'm looking through my inventory. I've got nothing here. Wait, he's got a pickaxe. Wait, I wait. know, I know. This is the guy I, I was with. He's he's a cool friend? guy. Yeah, he's a friend of mine. He's cool, but ah, he, I just okay. don't know why he's got. He's okay. just gone AFK for so long. Do you think he will trade his pickaxe? What is it you want it? What do you want it for? I want the pickaxe, man. What do you want the pickaxe for, though? Uh, it's Intel. For what? Uh, maybe you will figure it out on your own. Okay. Is it to break something? Maybe. <sighs> I heard about your incident yesterday, man. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you, mate. Like, I, I'm cool with people like you. I'm cool with. I've got no problem with you. I'm, if I see yeah. you, I'm not going to shoot you. You know, I've, I'm just because I may not like your group doesn't mean I don't like you, right? Yeah, yeah, it just yeah, means yeah, we've just yeah. somehow got to avoid each other, partly, but... Maybe. But this it comes to war... <laughs> I know, I don't know what... Yeah, you know what I mean. It is what it is, and if I could avoid yeah. shooting you, I would do it, man, but... I can tell you like that, I would shoot you the last... <laughs> yeah. If it comes to war. <laughs> the problem yeah, is, yeah. they're teamed and allied with a group who I'm not really fond of. KGB or what? Well, KGB, I'm not really a fan of, but mainly it's Justice League. Ah, uh, Justice League also. Yeah, are... I've had problems with them. Um, oh, okay. And okay. that's where there is a bit of a problem, you see. Yeah, we have historical relationships with Justice League. Right, exactly. But, I mean, at the moment, you are allied, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. I don't think it will break the ally. It's like... Right. Strong. ...founder relationship. Yeah, yeah. Understandable, man. And as I said, I'm not going to do anything to... Like, I would never shoot you or anything, mate. Like, we're cool. What about this guy here? He's letting, well, letting you AFK. I don't know. I mean, he's a cool guy, but it's just kind of annoying that he's just yeah. gone AFK for, like, just... I don't yeah, know, yeah, just, he just like, left on me, he just uh, abandoned me. And you had this gun shooting and stuff. He, didn't he help you in this gun shooting? No, he was AFK, he's been AFK for so long, yeah, so I'm just... I actually came here to break down a base that's over there, right? I actually came here to break down a base that's got two code locks, right? We've got a load two of melee, code two code locks, but it's got a gate. It's on that they're on gates. We've got to destroy yeah. the gates before we yeah, can I break know, it I down. Know, I know how it's working. We did it yesterday. We need a shovel. We need. Pickaxe. I've got a shovel, and I've got. I've. I don't have a. He's got a pickaxe. But it will take. It will take two guys half an hour if you okay. uh, drop it, uh, hit like parallel. So we need at least one guy. I know. That's why we needed this guy. Wait, wait, I got a bull up point. Wait, wait. No, he's good. He's cool. He's cool. He's cool. You don't have to do that. I'm just... I just want to get the, the, the pickaxe off him. Okay, so you will get a code lock and me. Yeah, that's that would be the deal, dude. Because, I mean, I, you know, that would be the deal, basically. Right. If okay, I... Okay, you took the... Oh. oh. Did he die? He yeah. just died. I think he logged yeah, off. He left the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Why did he do that? <laughs> Alright, you ready? I'm ready. 
Okay. We headed over to the base with tools to break the gates down, but worked out since the last time I came to this base, one of the code locks were missing, leaving just one code lock left on a gate. Either I was going to have it, or King was to take it back to his base. But King had an idea. He wouldn't mention that vulnerable base to his group if I just showed him another base with a code lock. And we found one that I saw a few days ago, but it no longer had a code lock. I'm Jungle, this is the Delhi. Jungle? Ah, the Delhi. That base also belonged to a friendly guy who I'd met during this story. So this was the base you wanted to show me? Yeah. Sorry, lay down, man. You can go and be be fast with this with this code lock because I will tell about it, you know. Okay. My clan, but I don't think we will because we are also busy right now. So if you are fast, you can take it. But if you are like, if it's, I don't think it will stay there tomorrow, you know. Okay. Well, tomorrow I guess that's where we split paths, dude. I I appreciate, man. Yes. You've been so friendly and. Um, yeah. Maybe we see us again. Hopefully, I'll so, see you again, yeah, mate. Maybe, maybe not in a gunfight now, but. Hopefully not. Yeah, hopefully yeah, not. And hopefully, hopefully, you know, it's not us firing. But anyway. All right, buddy. See Good luck, man. bro. I'm gonna head off. You do too. Bye bye. Okay, we've got to go. Uh, we've got like a mission right now. What's that? We need to get a code lock. King just told us he was going to notify his faction about that base with the code lock, but he gave us a slight head start to grab it before his group does. I instantly made my way to that base, but shortly after arriving, Justice League also showed up and conveniently saw the base too and probably wanted that code lock. Fortunately though, they ran off and we had a small wave of time to get this code lock we needed to be as quick as possible. Start hitting Giffy. Once we started hitting, we were offered help by a guy, Peter, who we'd encountered a couple of days ago. He was going to play a very crucial part in this story. Eventually, we broke through, took that code lock, and ran as fast as we possibly could back to our home. To finish off the day, we chose to make some further improvements to our base in the double green building. We used our remaining nails and we gathered some wood in the nearby forest and we added another gate as an airlock where we would add this code lock and strengthen our small base. Day six happened to be the longest day in this story where bloodshed truly begins. Uh, you, do you have an IV set? Shit! Is Guy the door there? closed? Yeah, on me. Outside. Are you dead? Are I you alive? No, 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 I closed the door, I closed the door. Fuck! I see him. Is it the gilly? Is it the gilly? Alright, chill, 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 chill. I'm bandaging. Here, take this hacksaw. Take the hacksaw, okay? Did you put the co the the combination lock on? No, I did put the combination lock on. What the fuck was the that? Lock. Okay, it's alright. It's alright. We'll, we'll go and kill him. If we just need to put this hacksaw away somewhere, I don't know where we can put it. I have a broken arm. Okay. He's getting. He's fighting a zombie out there. I get it, I shot it. Just keep moving back. Okay, yeah. okay we're on the airlock. Get ready yeah, to put it in. You guys are like in the way or okay, something. Okay, okay. Get ready, mate. Get the tray, Goofy. Bro, my aim is cuffed, dude. My aim is scuffed. Oh, run straight out. Is it? There, there he is. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? He's dead. I nice. Think. Yeah, yeah, he's dead. Uh, Whereabouts? Whereabouts, Goofy? Um, over by the shop. Yeah, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. He's got a blaze with it. Wait, so did, what guns did he have? AK-74? And blaze, yeah. Nice, man. Oh! Oh, fuck me. I've got where, where? I have a broken bone. Where is he, though? Up the hill. Up the hill? 
One dead, one dead. Might be another. Okay, I got it. My shot, my shot. Uh, another AKU here. Bar. What? Gonna fix another AKU server. here. He had a car night. This guy's got gear as well here. You gotta grab this. That's them. This is this is Timberwolves. They just sprayed at us. Like he just sprayed at me. Don't don't put the code lock on. Yeah, yeah I have to. I have to lock. Okay, I got all of his loot. So did they have an armband on? Yeah, they did, dude. They had a, they had their green armband that they use. Well, and then we got guns now, which is good. That was like a really good. True, thing. but they're gonna want those guns back if it was, you know. After those encounters, we took a break and returned later that day. We then headed down to the town north of us called Redex to loot, but also to search some fresh ones we'd spotted to see if they'd had any nails or code locks. Guys, don't move, don't move, don't move. Just listen, I need you to drop okay. your loot, okay? I just need to see okay, what you've man, got, relax. okay? I don't have anything. I know, don't run and we won't shoot. Don't attack and us. I am Timberwolf, man. Timberwolf. Timberwolf? Timberwolf. Okay, okay, okay. I yeah, I'm Timberwolf. Okay. Uh, are you... Uh, Dave, I'm Dave. Do you mind if I have your pants? Give me one sec, dude, thank you. There you go. Are they okay? Are, they, are those pants okay? They honestly look better on you, to be honest. And we left them in peace. We traveled east through the towns and cities, checking through Freshborn's clothes and only taking either code locks or nails. A friend I met called Avery reached out to me. He had a gift as gratitude for saving him from a robbery a few days ago. Avery also had a raid hammer to help us raid if we needed it. We said our goodbyes. Yep, good luck. And we journeyed back home. Things were about to get bloody interesting, and bullets were going to be exchanged. Oh, we've got to go there, guys. We have to go for them. Yeah, That's some go. big shots. Let's go, are we ready? Okay, let's go for the shots. There's a guy in front of me, Gillyhood. Where? Gillyhood, in the tree line. Which tree line? Which tree line? Shit. Oh, and I see a guy in a bush right now, aiming. What's the bit? You're pushing him, you're pushing him, he's right in front of you. My fucking, my game is so glitched. Dude. Let's go, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. I'm glitched as fuck. What do I have in my hands right oh. now? Oh. Is that us? No. Nope. I see He's the. I see a stress or something. I don't see him. Oh. Oh. Is that on me? That was from behind. That's on me. That's Getting shot from behind. Yep, yep. I see him. I see. Well, I, see I don't him see stressor. him. I don't see him. Two guys. Oh, it's more place. Oh, it's it's Timberwolves. How to kill zombies? I'm running. I think I no. Oh, I'm dead. You're dead? Fuck. Where did you die? On the tree line or what? Uh, yeah, in the tree line, right What gun was in your hands? Uh, the Mosin. I'm hit. He's dead. There's one more though. His teammate's gonna try to kill him. to the tree line. That's me. It's not no, that's you. him! Yeah, that's not you. It's shooting at me. I hit him one. Do I need to kill myself? I just... There's two of them there. I need to fall by. Another guy behind us! Yeah, that's the guy in town then. I'm hit hard. I'm yellow. It's just outside log cabin.
the first actual death I'd had on this entire server during this entire adventure. Six days surviving encounters with players, fending off from wolves, even bears. Everything was trying to kill me, yet I survived. But I guess that was just too much of a perfect story. A death like this is always important in a story like this as it drives us even more to get payback. So I headed straight back to try and scavenge some weapons or gear. Hello, man. We died yet again, but I made my way back again while the gunfire was still going on. I had another shot to get some gear back. We returned again, but this time with a friendlier approach. Hello. What? What's your name? Dave. I'm just gonna go back to my base, okay? Get there, Chief. <laughs> Acid Tribe and KGB, who both share the prison, had also showed up to help the fight. I found Peter's gun and even managed to get a kill. But just as I was stashing the spare gun in a bush, killed yet again and this is where everything escalates to a whole new level dude they're all going to your base right or to our base right now for real they're going to our base or they're going towards it like they're not aiming for our base are they yes 20 people on their way to our base right now and are they saying okay we're going there to they, they said they're going to talk to them okay are you at the base now? I'm on my way, I'm on my way. Yo! Hello! Hello, 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 hello! Hello, hello. Dave here! You remember me? Okay. Uh, oh! Hold on, hold on, remove your gas mask. David! Yeah? Dave, is that you? It is Hello, me. My friend. You remember Hello. me? Yeah? This is I don't remember you. Who is this? Uh, this is my friend. He wants he wants your pants and food. Give me. He wants my pants and food. Drop your pants. Yeah. Okay. Shoes. Drop it. Drop drop your shoes. Okay. Ah. Uh, that's all. That's all. Because he he robbed him his pants and his helmet. That's why. Who robbed who? You robbed him. When did I rob him? When did I rob okay, him? You rob him. And what did I take from you, dude? You what did I take from you? His pants. I didn't take your pants. Pen. I didn't take his pants. And I didn't take his shoes either. Ah, it's... Uh, you know... The shoes are both extra. You know... Sorry, you know, dude. I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. I said I didn't. I didn't take his pants and I didn't take his shoes. I don't know, man. You're struggling to answer. What do you mean, anyway? I didn't take your pants. I didn't take your shoes. So why have I just given you? Okay. It's a stop. Stop talking lies. Okay. Stop talking huh? lies. Yeah. What do you, know you mean? He, you his pants. Okay, this, he knows. Just, listen, listen. Just, just, He's lied to you. He's lied to you. He's literally yeah. lied to you, man. Like your your team has lied to. No, 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 no. <laughs> He's not lying. Oh, anyway, not anyway. lie, bro. You know, I, not lie, bro. I not lie, bro. Li, 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 I can't Come on, man. Like, literally, dude, I promise it. Like, I've been with Dave the whole day. We've, like, we've not Come on, like, dude. stole anything for anyone. The only thing we took was two bur burlap sacks from one guy, and I don't even know if it's this guy. Did he call me up? Did he call me up? Dude, where did we be? Like, where did. Yeah, I don't know, dude. You're scuffed. Come on, man. Listen, hey. come on, dude. What did you say? Full answer? No one took his pants, no one took his shoes, okay? No, man, I don't you, you take green cargo pants no, and uh, motorbike helmet. No, I didn't. You, he's waffling. What's he talking about? What's he talking about, man? Why am I going to take your pants? My friend, my friend, we will not kill what's you. His, what's his, what's uh, your name? What's whatever your name, you man? do, okay? What's your name? Don't stop telling lies. No, no, your friend here is telling a lie, man. Come on. 
Okay, Dave. Uh, uh, that's you know, eye for eye. You say I that. I remember you, Dave. Uh, we we take we take you take his pants. We take uh, we take your pants and uh, the shoes for another eye. Extra. That's all. Extra. We're gonna leave this stuff out. Do not scream, Sorry, dude. It was an accident. It was an accident, man. It was an accident. <laughs> man. Come on, old man. Come on, old man. Oh, accident. Yeah, accident. Oh, accident. Oh, accident. Yeah. Nice one, man. Nice one. Idiot. Idiot. Come on, you can do it. That's your old name. Old man name. Old man name. Come on guys, uh, almost got me there. Nice one, nice one. Goodbye guys. Goodbye guys. Okay. I'm dead. Did you die? I'm dead. They've, literally they've started a war, man. They yeah, have started did, a war. They have started a war. And that was the very moment where this war for me just got real and that situation had now fueled my determination to defeat this damn group that had yet again just screwed me over during that confrontation i'd actually completely forgotten what this so-called robbery they were talking about and some of you might know what robbery they're talking about but for those that don't remember what had happened earlier that day we encountered two guys in a nearby town we just wanted to search for nails. And I am Timberwolf, man. Timberwolf, Timberwolf. I then kindly yeah. made a request to exchange one of his clothing for mine. Do you mind if I have your pants? All he had to say was no, but instead he dropped his pants without a word, and as far as I knew at the time, he was more than happy to trade with me. We then left, and that was that. I think the most important point here is the second I heard he was a timber wolf, I lowered my weapon and didn't even bother searching them. There was nothing hostile about that encounter. I headed back to base pretty frustrated and bruised. But most of you guys know me by now. You'll know that I don't just give up and let things be and left unfair. I was going to return to that war zone and I was going to get my gear back no matter how many times I died. Alright, see you going down. Yellow armbands here, yellow armbands here, geared. Fully geared. Yeah, I see one, I see one by the trailer in front there of me. There are two, there are two, two at the trailer. Three, there's three? Yeah, we can move closer. You ready to move closer, Jeremy? Yeah, we can pop this guy. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, I see him, I see him. They're trying to break through. Oh, yeah. One's dead. Other's dead. One more behind uh, green. They're all dead, all three dead. Mo's in here, ammo, PU, scope. KGB, it's KGB, you got him. Yep, a, a Vega hit, another Mosin. Here guys, you gotta come get this loot. Here, okay, let's just go, let's just go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We killed the KGB guys. Yes, man. This is what did you hear? I got the all of the Mosins. We got all. That was the most profitable shit right there. I got a Vega as well. I'm so happy. How did you like, kill all three of them? Man? I don't know, man. Just G43 is good. For the rest of that day, we used our time to fortify our base yet again to prepare for whatever could come our way after that fight. And then a guy showed up and randomly gave us a big military tent. Oh. The problem with this though, was not only couldn't we squeeze the tent inside our base, but it actually didn't fit in any of the buildings surrounding us. Our only solution was setting up a second base in the barn just up the hill from us in Ozanka. We fortified it and placed the tent just in pure hope 
that it wouldn't get raided and stolen. To wrap up the day, we did a bit of PvPing, taking out some shooters, and taking the loot back to our second barn base to fill up that tent. And we move on to day seven. The plan to get our vengeance begins. We started out on our day with three of us going on a loot run, hoping to gather some more weapons and supplies for battle that day. We had some threatening encounters. We looted some military bases far in the south like Swarog and Nadbor, and we returned home later on. We later managed to find yet another tent which would fit very nicely into our new barn base. Even more of a reason now to secure it further. Now somehow we had to think of a plan to get vengeance on this Timber Wolves faction. At this point, yes, we certainly were not on good terms with this massive alliance, and definitely not on good terms with the Timber Wolves faction. And I can imagine at this point, if we were to see each other, it would most likely result in us shooting at each other, followed by them probably winning purely based on numbers advantage. However, there was still a chance to repair this relationship and potentially alliance. Or better yet, act as if we want to alliance and use it as an opportunity to ambush and wipe them all out. We went straight over to Adamov, the location we'd originally met the Timberwolves faction, and organized some sort of meetup to Alliance. But they couldn't know it was me there. I had to temporarily disguise myself. Lou's on his way here, guys. Do you need something? So, yeah, we were, um, you know how we wanted to have a meeting with your faction and our group? A meeting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I, I basically, um, Dave isn't here right now, but, um, he's over by, by base, so we're gonna come and get him, and then, like, if you could, like, gather your boys, and we could have, like, a meeting, because we have... Or whenever, I'll swim. Mm, yeah, Whenever you meant, I can. Uh, we, you offered a meeting in your base, right? I'm no, no base. All right. Wherever, uh, wherever. No, doesn't have to be in our base. It can be wherever. Ah, okay. Wherever, wherever you want, to, want to meet. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, you could be here if you wanted to. Yeah, sure, sure. It's coming right here, man. Nails, he knows this. He probably knows it's me. Like, all right, dude. Yeah, we won't, we won't take that long. Ah, okay, we will be here, see, see you in a few, though. Ah, take care. Ah, take care. See you. See you guys. See you. Shit, man. They, um, they really don't stick in one area, do they? They all kind of move around. That's going to be tough, dude. We managed to organize a meeting with the Tibbles faction at some point over the next few days. And I immediately met up with the CIA and Men of the Woods clan. They agreed to assist us with the ambush, so we returned home and fortified our base even further. While gathering those final supplies to upgrade our barn base, I just thought to myself how brilliant this plan could have been. There's no way they would even see it coming and we could finish this war right now and live in peace. It could be a very significant day tomorrow, I needed to be prepared. I just had to grab the bag of loot we had lying around and I logged off for the night. The following day, I received an alarming message from James, the leader of Men of the Woods faction.
I logged on solo and urgently joined a call with him. I just was there like 20 seconds ago and they were still hitting the metal, so they weren't hitting the wood yet. But if they get into that first airlock, the sledgehammers are in the locker upstairs because I logged out with them and then I logged in and put them in there, so... Okay, we're cool, don't worry, I'm coming. I'm trying to get someone to log in, but most of them are like American or... So they're all asleep. What, what, like, what's the time on the server? Because are we... Is it going to be daytime soon? This is nuts. No, it just hit nighttime. This one's got a ghillie, so this is going to be... <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I headed over to their base in Lukau, but fighting ghillies throughout the night, I was gonna need a bit of help from some friends. Peter? What's up, bro? You know the men of the woods? They're getting raided. They're, up, they're near the airfield. They're above Gleniska, like north of Gleniska in a town called Lukau. North Gleniska. Right. I'm pretty much here. Like, I'm, I'm basically here. Oh shit, hold on. This is a double green. Yeah, it's my base. Yeah. Is it next to a barn? Are you guys next to a yes, barn? Yes, 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 yes. That's it. Are they in? I don't know, I don't know. I see a green chem light, I also see a red one here or something. Yeah, they're, they're putting lights to corner it off so they can see people coming. Oh, uh, we're in below. They're in the base, they're in the base, they're in the base. Oh, there's a green mate, light over mate, there. Mate, mate, mate. I need to throw a light over there so I can see. I'm in here. He's there in front of you. I can't see anything. Like, I cannot see anything. There's one right on there. I think I just killed one. Killed me, there you go. Now you know where he is. If you didn't kill him, you've hurt him at least. You must have hit him. I just killed another. Yeah, he's dead. Yes, you've got, yeah, got him. Let me see if I kill this other guy. Did I kill him? I don't think I killed the first. I think there's still one more somewhere. Nope, they're both dead. Two ghillies dead. Oh, the, one of them wasn't a ghillie. So the, the last guy got out. The guy that got the loot, he got out. The field backpack guy. Alex, 2011, and oh, a couple of others. Oh, KGB. Let me check identity. This guy is called... Okay, we are closed. Looks like Close. a lot of griefing, to be fair, but... See any sledges? My check knows where the sledges are. They took them, yeah? Yeah, of course he They is. took they... the sledges. Yeah, but him. how did he fit all that stuff on him? Like, M4s and high caliber ammo and the sledges. Like, where's he fitting all that? We'll bounce back. We'll bounce back. Sorry. Right. Yeah, yeah. We'll... I'll put some of the, give you some of these guns here on the bodies. Oh man. Yeah, the guy with the backpack dipped like quick. He had all the good shit on him. Fuck, dude. Well, I don't know what what do you want us to do now? Cause we can I mean I'm trying Are to we get good back. to head back? To our base? I think if bone stays in there it'll be good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh? Yeah? We can stay on Discord for a bit, in case anything happens. We'll just head back there. We tried our best to fight off the KGB from raiding the Men of the Woods base, but they broke through and took their only raid sledgehammers. I mean, they could use those sledges and just go raid us. They could be raiding us right now for all we know. I don't think so. Normal base is clear. Yeah. We know the first base is good, but it's the... Oh, there's a guy smashing it right now. One dead. Multiple guys there. Multiple guys there breaking it. He's hacksawing it. Multiple guys there. Multiple guys. Front entrance of our base. Holy shit, dude. I'm out in the field on the south side. They might have just grabbed the hacksaw and bailed, to be fair. Okay, he's dead. He's dead. I 
behind the uh, blue tin. The real Dutch. Do you know who the real Dutch is? Um, no, I don't. Okay, so we just got a free hacksaw. Nice. Willy Wonka. Free hacksaw, man. <laughs> yes, dude. <laughs> we arrived at the perfect time and abruptly stopped the raiders from breaking through. Without any armbands, we weren't sure if these guys were enemy of ours or not. But we quickly stashed away that hacksaw. Yeah. We just defended ourselves. Hi, my bad. My bad. That was me, mate. That was me. What's up? I'm back. Uh, there's a guy in front. He he was apparently the one raiding us. I'm gonna reset like, my box once. in the meantime. Yeah, What's up? Yeah. He was the one raiding, apparently. Hello, hello. How you doing, mate? What's your name, dude? Me and my name's Jess, mate. What's your in-game name? Uh, yeah, it's the real Dodge. I need to change that, but I don't know how yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. Keep reverting back. It's uh, my bad. You can have the Mosin back. Go on. What, are you, like, what was the reason for raiding, dude? Well, we literally came across it, and we thought, oh, that's a nice place. And then in the shed next to it, we found the hacksaw, so I was like, all right, let's... Fair enough, man. We'll, uh, we'll give you your guns back, bro. No worries. We'll give you, like, a gun. What, what did you have? A blaze? I think I had a blaze, yeah. It's great. I'll just give it to him, you know? We, we've got so well, much shit here, right? To be honest. Like, you get it. Look at you being all bushy-bushy. Oh, careful. I might get sick. Oh, you're too kind, you're too kind. So, which, which one of you, uh, which one of you was shooting earlier? Well, we came back, so our friend was getting raided. Um, we went to help them, we stopped those guys from raiding them. And then, we came back here and you were raiding us, so we, we just, I guess, uh, good timing, man, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess, I guess. Yeah, it was just a coincidence, we found the hacksaw as well. No, it's, it's all like, good, mate. Guys. Currently, I'm setting up a few customs, uh, custom locations, so that, uh... You guys have base? Okay. For a little faction to do yeah. some, uh, yeah. some stuff. But what are your, what are you three names? You didn't even need to do, without being a zucchini. Peter. Peter. Peter Sorry? is mine. Peter? Peter. And it's Dave. Most people are gonna know me by Dave. Dave, alright, alright, alright. And the hi-hat man? You can call oh, him fabulous, but... Oh yeah, of course, goofy. Alright mate. Good luck, dude. Alright, take care, lad. We then went on a bit of an adventure, doing our usual looking for base supplies, maybe finding some players to trade with, until James messaged me again, saying the attack on their base was not quite over yet. Are you guys getting griefed and hard? Yeah. Yeah. They keep they're back there now. Yeah, yeah Alex keep coming, keep back. coming back. He came here four fucking times. Okay, with guns or just? Yeah. Yes, yes. They keep killing. Yeah, hold on. Okay, we should go over and help them. Yeah, I think the KGB are fighting them. Oh, I heard that. All right, do you want me to get out and, and take some guns and shit or not? No, just stay in the base. We need one in there. So if yeah. they start raiding it again, they, they can't get in because you're camping it. Okay. Yeah, if they saw that you have sledgehammers just in that room, they're going to be thinking, what the hell is in their main loot if you've got sledgehammers in there? Yeah. Okay, we're here. We're here. We're at all the barns. Yeah, I see you. I see you. Um, okay, I think they moved. Yeah, they did. They went probably north. I see a guy up north. Far, you're doing a huge flank. Far east. Far northeast. Far Maybe. northeast. Maybe Far me. northeast. Uh, do you have a yellow backpack on? No, that's one of them. I check. Yeah. No, I yellow. don't have. I have. I okay, have. Okay, he's uh... behind that little small tree. Yeah. I don't know where you guys are. Is that your shot? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Two, 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 two. How close? 
Um, he's fucking far. Like, I see him. I see him. Oh yeah, he's behind the wood. wood he's wall. behind the wooden little shed, wooden like broken down kind of shed thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking. He just hit me. Fuck, dude, that hurt. Where? From where? From the what? fucking the wood. Okay, one's dead. One's dead. Which one? Get yeah, what well, guy behind the shed is I, dead. I, yeah, I see him. I see, I see the last guy. He's running. Where is he running? He's running north from the log. Yeah, I'm hit. Fuck. He's dead. I get him. I get him. I get him. Nice. 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 Okay. Nice, I'm gonna see if I can strip him before the restart. Oh, he hit it. He hit it. Yes. Oh, he was good. Easy peasy. More kills. I'll just put the mowers on in your base. That ki Those kills might have pissed them off a bit. I don't know if they're gonna come back. There's three of you on now, right? Yeah. I mean, what if, like, one of you were to stay back at base, and then the rest of us go, like, annoy them? I don't know how we could, but instead of us waiting for them, I mean, they can't do anything else. And even if they do start trying to break in, it will take at least 15 minutes. Yeah, then let, let me stay here, because, I mean, I, I, I can only play for, like, two hours, so... Okay, so, do you want to come with us, then? Um, Bones and James, and we could just uh, mess with them, and if anything, if we need to get back to the base, Ron will tell us. Okay, yeah. don't give a shit. Yeah. Okay, well, let's just do that then. Let's annoy them back. And that was what we had planned. We would take the fight to their base instead of just waiting for them to go for us. So we all headed to the prison where KGB lived. All of us except one member just to notify us if anything was happening at the Men of the Woods base in Lukau. Wow, well, hold, hold on. Let's go for their main front door then. Yeah, this is the main front door. Right here. Oh! oh My me. game like froze for a second. <laughs> he's, he's aiming at you. One's in the window. What? One's in the window. Hold on, don't worry. You're good, you're good, you're good. I'm gonna get a shot on him now. What windows, you want? One on the side. side. I, I see him. Whereabouts? I hit him twice. Even if we kill them, we're not going to be able to get their loot, so let's just kind of bait them. That's a mode thing. That's a mode thing. Yeah. I, I kind of want them. I kind of want their friends to come back or something. Yo, on top of the roof, on top of the thing, completely on top. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Is he? Pr he's. Pr Someone just he's hit dead. him. Good he's shit. Dead. Nice. He said my name. He knows it's us. He said he's my name. Dead. I have to move. You guys should get out of there. And head towards our Zanka. Did you get shot? Oh, Boys, I'm gonna die. We are I'm being re raided. We are being raided. Are you talking? Did, did you expose who you are or, or that no, you're there? No, but nobody's talking. There's at least two guys hacking into the base. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on. So, runner, two guys, at least two guys at the base, and a hack's going through. Don't let them know that you're in there. You don't say a thing, don't move, because we no, need. No, no. Wow, there's at least four guys here. Oh. <laughs> Bones, is it time to call Ribo? Um, yeah. Yeah, it's time to call there. Ribo. Yeah, guys, this is at least four guys. <laughs> at least. Uh-huh. Wait, they're hacksawing. How are they hacksawing through when there's a sled outside? Uh, I'm, I'm saying hacksaw. I don't know what the sound is, mate. They're just hacking into the fences. Oh. Okay, cool. I've got another friend coming on. If one of you can maybe move in Monica. So what's going on anyways? See you on the main road. Blue armband. Justice League. Yeah. Yeah. That's them. So it's Justice League raiding right, you guys. Well, they're all allies, so they're probably all doing it together. Yeah. 
Oh, they're gonna cut. They're gonna cut the the lock. They're they're almost in. M4, pull the M4 out and spray the door in the corner where the lock is. Exactly. If it's metal, he can do it. He stopped sawing. <laughs> nice man. It's just unbelievable. It's turn of night time. This is impossible to defend this when it's turn of night time, dude. My Jack, I'm not sure if they started raiding that side as well. I see here. on the room. I see. We need to stall them until daytime, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. We couldn't properly defend until daytime, but we needed to stall them by running up naked and shooting the guy Hacksaw. Got him. I'm dead, oh, he's, he's dead. Nice, he's, dead. Nice. he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Man, were we lucky to have people like Peter on our side. After a long night, it was turning morning and the real fight was about to commence. And then I realized this fight had more consequences than I thought. All it takes is for one of the enemies to kill me, check my identity, find out exactly who I am, and this ambush on the Timberwolves was over. But the men of the woods were our allies now, and you know how this works. You do whatever you need to do to help your friends when they need it. I made the decision to fight off this raid and help our friends. Oh, I'm dead. He, what? How did he know I was there? Okay, okay, so I'm walking with Lee, and he knows that we uh, did that injustice. That's why we were doing it to us now. He just told me. We're walking together back to the fucking raid. Josh, you need to back off. Because if you get compromised, I mean, it's going to okay, fuck up your out. whole plan. They know, they know it was us. He already just said. Oh, Who does he know? He doesn't know it's me, though. Right, right. Bitch, dude, they're right on me. One dead. Nice. He knows I'm here. I've got one shot left. One slug left. I have to go. Okay, Peter, don't worry, dude. Thank you for the help, man. You like you probably saved us big time. Good luck, good luck. Alright, man. See you, dude. Thanks, bye, man. bye. They're moving. Uh, not on a haystack anymore. Where are they moving? North? Uh, no. Uh, yes, I think. Yeah, I one question. I hit him twice. I'm going to be fucking dead. Another dead. One's shooting at me. Nice. He's behind the shed, I think. Nice. Dead. Grab that gear set, James. Grab the gear set. One more now. coming. One, co one more coming. Tapped out. Huh? Nice. Yep, other, other, uh, other uh, shed. See them in the shed? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I see them in the shed. I may have hit him. One dead. Another, another hit. <laughs> Guy, okay, one of their members. Okay, he's hit, he's hit once. I don't want to take your gun because I have pain. 
I just killed Lee. I just killed Lee. South of the city, new spawn. One click away. We'd failed the mission to defend, and the consequences for this were so massive. Our plan to ambush the Timberwolves with a fake alliance was now out of the window, just because they simply would have checked my pulse and seen exactly who I was. The alliance was definitely off, hell, they might even raid us now. Our one opportunity to take back this fight and defeat the Timberwolves was over. But hold on, what if there was another way around this? This alliance is made up of three factions, right? Justice League, Timberwolves and the KGB. And that single alliance is what runs this entire server with no one else even challenging them. But what happens when a group does challenge them? All of the factions work together and raid their base, which is exactly why no other group big enough can survive here. I mean, both the Men of the Woods faction and the CIA had already been completely raided, and at this rate, it's looking like we were going to be next. With all the conflicts that had happened this past week, we had to be their next big hit. But wait, what if that didn't matter? What if we used our base getting raided to our very advantage? If we could somehow anger them enough to the point where they would attack and raid our base, they may actually think that we had given up on the server and they had defeated us, leaving them completely unaware and off guard. And while they least expect it, we raid them. As I said, they had already raided the Men of the Woods faction and the CIA, so they knew they had no raid tools left. And if they'd raid us, there was no one on the server who could actually raid them. But for this to work, we would need more than just a few groups working together. We would need an army to beat these guys. But how are we going to fill up the whole server with an army in such a short space of time? I was going to have to get creative. But there we had it. A perfect plan. One last chance for revenge. For the first time ever, I actually decided to get some help from some of the YouTube subs on my Discord. I wasn't sure at all how many would show up, but as I said we would need an army for this to work. A few people showing up was just not going to be enough. I was speechless. I wanted an army and boy oh boy did I get one. The one and only advantage this alliance had over us was numbers. But now that we could compete with their numbers, they had no chance. The first stage of this revenge was to start a fake raid on the Justice League base and drawing out all of the other factions to help defend. I just needed to make it clear to one of the enemy factions that it was me raiding the base so they knew to raid mine. They weren't online at this very time, but we started anyway. Well here we go, just make sure you're hitting the bottom. You gotta hit three, you gotta get three people hitting it. Tear it down, boy. 
boys. I mean, this will be in oh, within yeah. like 15 minutes or 10 down, minutes. Yeah, even less. Yeah. How are they not on right now? I'm almost at PD. As soon as, as soon as they find out that they're getting raided, you realize that they're going to get everyone. The, all, of, all of the people in the alliance are going to be coming, you know that. It's badly damaged, you'll be in any second now. We were slowly getting through, but they still weren't online inside the base. Car, car. Car? car? Yeah, Kill vehicle. Car, circa, come around the back. Ridge, top of the ridge. All dead in the car. All dead. All dead. No, another shot. Another shot. Yeah, it's Justice League. They just came back. Keep hacking, guys. Keep hacking. We're good. We're good. We're good. He's dead. 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 I got him. I, I, I got kill him. him. I kill him. I kill him. Everyone that died, come back. This is then. This ah. is Justice League. Keep going with the raid. Yeah. If you need any guns, guys, Wait, grab how them. How the fuck did I miss that car going by? AKM. They've got so much gear, guys. If you need anything, come here and grab it. There's so much. I need a close range weapon. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Listen, listen, guys. Any of the guns, get them in either the double red or double green, okay? Any of the guns, get them in double red or double green. Who shot? Behind me, behind us. Uh, he's inside, he's inside. He's shooting out. I'm flashing, I'm flashing. He's inside, but he's shooting out the side. Get in, get in double green, Josh. Get in double on the right side of the building, he's he's peeking through that side. Next frames down. Next frames down. Okay, you guys have got to get ready to start smacking. Like, I don't know, man. I think only one person can do that one. Guy of Justice League on me. I'm shooting. He's down. He's down. Good shit, man. Good job. Him. Good job. Very I'm good. coming to your gear. Nice. I'm coming to you, mate. Yeah, I'm just yeah. He's got gear. a lot of gear. He's got a suppressed M4. It's fine. It's fine. It's them shooting. Them shooting. I'm on my way back. No, I'm not far away. I'll grab. I'll grab it all. I'll grab it all. I'll grab it all. Yeah. I shooting. I kill him. I kill him. Nice. <laughs> Magic, the god. <laughs> oh, I see. It's a fresh one with a jacket on. Is that one of us limping? Hello, bitch. Oh. Oh. I shot. Killed a guy. Who just shot? None, no, no. none of us. I'm going to take him out if I see them again. Up on the hill, on the other side. Yeah, I know. Josh, are you on me right now? I hear footsteps. I'm right behind you. I was where you first saw me. No, no, no. I hear footsteps inside the tree line. Okay, let's go rush him, rush him, rush him. I see him. Yeah, yeah. He said, he said, he said, he said. I'm going dark. Grab all of his loot, mate. The raid continued. Every time they'd come back with guns, we'd kill them with these and store their loot away in the double green building which we'd secured. They were getting frustrated and we were winning. That's a man, we can work something out, okay? I've got I'm gonna offer you a deal. Are you willing? There's a guy pushing up the road. There's a guy pushing up the road right now, close to me. Right here, you can see right in front of me. He's dead now, dead now, dead now, dead now. We have, we have a proposition, okay? This is the deal. If you give up your entire base, we'll stop raiding. <laughs> I see this guy. I, I see this guy. I see this guy. Oh, right. Got one, got one, got one, got one, me. 
I killed another. I killed another. I hear him. He's dead. Good, good shit. Good, good, good shit. All right, guys. You just killed one of my guys, but we've just taken out two of your guys. We've got all the loot. They're going to come back and get their loot, and we're just going to keep doing this, you know? The more people That's you bring, the more loot yeah. you bring to me, the more ammo I get to shoot your walls here, right? Our mission was completed, and 20 minutes later, it was daylight, where we grabbed all the guns and ammo we'd saved and gathered inside of the double green building, and all of us headed out, but in smaller groups to limit the chances of getting spotted. And we logged out far, far away from any other group or civilization. During that period, however, where we'd all logged off and waited for our moment of attack, yes, our base was attacked and raided. Although we'd stashed away the most important valuables, it was still so sad to see. And I found out after that our friends Zack and Monaco were unfortunately killed attempting to defend the raid. And here we are, the time had finally come to prepare and start this attack. I logged in and made my way to the closest point where we could discreetly meet everyone in the group without anyone seeing our numbers. I found some broken down train carriages and I think it was the ideal place to meet everyone. Every member in our army started to log into the server and I told them to make their way to this meet point. I also told them to be as hidden as possible, and other than one liability, we seemed okay, and I don't think many groups saw us. Are you guys all ready? Everyone in the car, just come out. Follow me, follow me, follow me. I've got the big Alice bag. If you guys cut off to the right, there's some barns up the hill. We'll just get in those. But you've got to stay within the barn. Do not, like, expose ourselves. Listen, everyone make sure you've got your armband on. Get your gun out. We're moving into Adamov now, okay? And we're going to find a building where we can start storing all the... Like, the building where we put in all the guns, ammo, everything. Are you guys ready to move? I'm going up through the small door. We're going to go literally straight there now to Adamov. And so we did. We headed over to the enemy base in Adamov, and we managed to arrive without any interruptions. We looked around the town for a suitable building to lock down and secure our loot and tools. And we found one. The perfect building. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, we're gonna need... We're gonna need a sledgehammer straight away. Is it a door? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. We calculated what we would need to raid and found that the front was going to be our only way in. So we went back to get the tools ready. We had people up on the hill overwatching the town, people watching every angle of the town from down below. We had it locked off completely. And so far everything had gone almost exactly to plan. And we began to break into the Timberwolves base hoping they wouldn't be online and it would be a smooth raid. I guess we just had to wait and we'd eventually find out.
Well, we just cracked on with the raid, with teammates watching any movement around the town and a small airlock covering us breaking it down. We were unstoppable. We were also yet to hear any movement inside the base. You know, I've really started to believe that our plan had worked exactly how we wanted it to. And what you all wanted to hear, the raid was complete. We got inside their main, main loot, and they had all the guns you would need, enough storage to last for weeks, tools to do even more raids. For a hardcore server, this was a very profitable raid, and we were collectively very, very happy. At this moment, I was just overwhelmed and happy, just thinking about all those gear sets we'd have, the time we've saved ourselves having to do loot runs down south, how we could fight off all the other factions with all this loot, and most importantly, how we defeated our arch enemy on the server. Everything I lost in my base could be replaced with everything that we profited from this raid. Then I thought to myself, is this really what I did this for? Is this really why I raided Timberwolves? No, 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 no. All I wanted was my revenge. And I got exactly that. This wasn't about the loot at all for me. We got our payback on this faction, and all of our history with them had concluded. I wasn't even going to continue playing on the server, and neither was my group. So what was the loot worth? I finally realised that this big raid was never about me or my great revenge on the bad guys. This raid was for the groups and individuals that had been defeated for so long by this brutal alliance. People like Jimmy from the CIA or James from the Men of the Woods, both good people who didn't really deserve to be raided and attacked by this alliance. Instead of me taking all the profits for myself and my group and completely reap the rewards of this whole raid, why not give it to the people that have really struggled on the server and truly deserve those earnings? I was not here for that golden raid, the greatest daisy base raid, obliterating a clan. No, that wasn't why I started this adventure on this server. And this is not what Monaco and Zack had fought and died for. All the energy and time we put into this whole plan finally had a true beautiful outcome and ending, and our time on the server would come to a peaceful ending.
Well, a few days later, I woke up still merry about that amazing story we'd embarked on, even though we couldn't raid our oldest enemy, Justice League. But that morning, I received a very specific message from Jimmy, leader of the CIA. 